the popular resort city of Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, should be bustling with late summer tourists, but its streets and sidewalks are eerily quiet, and the Ferris wheel in the seaside amusement park lies still. The same was true for many coastal areas in the Carolinas and Virginia on Wednesday and Thursday morning, after one. 7 million people were ordered to evacuate as Hurricane Florence bears down on the southeastern coastline. Myrtle Beach is like a ghost town. We've only lived here three years, but we have friends that have lived here their entire life and have never experienced or seen the town so eerie, on resident, Roger maybe, told stuff. Florence weakened to a Category 2 hurricane over Wednesday night, but forecasters warned it still posed the threat of 110 miles per hour winds, a life-threatening storm surge and torrential rains. The center of Florence will approach the coasts of North and South Carolina on Thursday, then move nearer over the coast of Southern North Carolina and Eastern South Carolina on Thursday night and Friday. In Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, all residents had to leave by 8 p.m. on Wednesday, otherwise there would not be any emergency services assistance provided to them. Carolyn Senior spent the day boarding up her parents' house. We are boarding up today, she told ABC 11. Share this article Share It's Hot. It's not fun, but it's all we can do at this point we are just trying to get everything out of the bottom of the garage as we are sure there is going to be water. Officials are predicting Florence could cause $170 billion in property damage, but many businesses are already suffering an economic hit from the loss of business. Chapel Hill has been hit by the closure of the University of North Carolina, with its 55,600 staff and students ordered to evacuate and the first football game of the year called off. The cancellation of the game alone will take away $8 million in potential economic benefit from the local areas. With the campus closed and the football game cancelled, there's a lot of anxiety at local businesses, local Chamber of Commerce CEO Aaron Nelson told CBS. UNC only has about six home games every season and losing one of those is a really big deal. The historic port city of Charleston, South Carolina, saw heavy flooding during Tropical Storm Irma last year, and officials are warning the impact of Florence is expected to be worse. Many of the city's residents had gone by Wednesday, joining 300,000 of their fellow South Carolinians also fleeing the day. Mandatory evacuation orders were put in place on Wednesday for most of the South Carolina coastline, in Edisto Beach in Charleston County to Horry County, and parts of North Carolina and Virginia. But despite the orders some residents are staying put. Tim Terman and his wife live in Southport, North Carolina, and are planning to ride out the storm. Once you leave, it will be hard to get back in to check on damage, he told CNN. My home is all my wife and I have, materially speaking, a lifetime of stuff. Several highways in the Carolinas were turned into one way streets so everyone could escape in cars laden with possessions. Other infrastructure has ground to a halt, with Charleston International Airport among several closed until at least Saturday, and Amtrak pulling trains running to Virginia and stops south of Washington, D.C. The rail services are expected to restart on Monday, weather permitting, 